The African Democratic Congress, ADC, has unveiled Rosemary Giwa Amo as its Lagos State Deputy Governorship candidate on Friday. Speaking at the event, the ADC Party Chairman in Lagos, Ashiru George, gave insight into the party's plans for national development if elected into power in the 2023 election. On the path, the ADC Deputy Governorship candidate, Rosemary Giwa Amo, says she is confident that the party has what it takes to deliver better welfare and development for Lagos residents. The Lagos is now reeling under serious challenges, including high level insecurity, the decay of critical infra infrastructure, and absence of necessary social safety nets. This very important call to service is therefore a great opportunity for me to contribute to, to turning things around in this, I'm aligning very closely with the commitment and determination of my principal, Mr. Funsho Doherty, a man with Lagos deeply etched in his very DNA to develop and progress Lagos State to its full potential. We will work together assiduously to restore the state to its old glory as a center of excellence. Tapping on. tapping on the huge potentials of its diverse peoples and its abundant but currently latent resources. All of this we will achieve early with God on our side as we hit the ground running in mid-2023 when we will take our seats in Alausa. Our mandate is uh, to the Nigerian people and it is the Nigerian people who will give us their mandate to go into office. Um, we think that the electorate has seen enough of the leadership provided by these two parties that you've talked about, uh, that we're in a new era of political um, involvement of the people. I'm sure you've seen the fervor by which people are going out looking for their voters' cards. People are lining up for days, the youth are out there, older ones are out there, everybody's out there, people are aware. And people have come to the recognition that the future and the future of the community, the future of their state, the future of their nation is in their own hands. I believe that this state deserves better. I believe that this state can do away with um, the typical godfatherism, trading of elitic, elitist favor amongst a small group of people, 0.0001% of the population controlling 99% of our wealth. It's about time we change it to allow the people to control their resources. It's about time we allow people who understand the needs of the people who care, people who understand that the reason over 6 million potential voters in Lagos don't vote is because nobody cares about them. So they will not leave their houses because no one is representing them. They already have decided that the state has been carved amongst a few very rich, very powerful people. They've already decided that all appointments have been predetermined even before the elections. It's no longer about merit, it's about who you know. Mediocrity is hidden under qualification. In Lagos, we don't need your qualification, we need your passion. We don't need your certification, we need your presence. We need you to care for the people. And ADC has found the right kind of people who care, who have sacrificed their corporate ambitions to serve the state.